Hey everyone, I am Dr. Prakash Mungli, Professor of Biochemistry and Nutrition. So in this video, I will be explaining you what is keto diet and what is the exact mechanism of keto diet in weight loss management and how keto diet help in other medical uh, disorders. Let's get into the details. A bit understand about the evolutionary process of humans. So, uh, survival of the fittest or a hunterer and gatherer uh, kind of uh, evolution. So, whenever a person gets uh, more amount of food, so at that time when the person eats more food, so the excess food, it will be stored in our body in two forms. One is carbohydrate in the form of glycogen, other is a fat in adipose tissue. So, although there is a limited amount of proteins that can that we can store, in the form of muscle, muscle protein and uh, any other proteins that we have in our body and carbohydrate also there is a limited amount of carbohydrate that we can store. So the enormous amount of fat can be stored. So why we have designed like that? So the purpose of this kind of evolutionary design of a human body is where we store enormous amount of fat. It is the reason for that is the stores or the fuel reserves that are there in our body will be used for uh, maintaining the energy needs of our organs and tissues. So the first one is the glycogen which, which will break into glucose but we, do, we have a limited amount of glycogen. So the next source it can be the adipose tissue that is fat. Intermediately so there is uh, some amount of protein breakdown that will go on but when the adipose tissue uh, breakdown will start at that time the skeletal muscle protein degradation will uh, decrease. Now, this is what is the basis for keto diet and which helps in weight loss management and also it helps in certain medical disorders. So, now let us get into that. So, what is actually the keto diet? So, in the keto diet, so the 70 to 80 percent of the daily calories will come from fat. So, and then a moderate amount of protein is taken to save a skeletal muscle mass. So, which is around uh, contribute 10 to 20 percent of the daily calories and then around 5 to 10 percent of the daily calories uh, usually it will come from carbohydrates. So, simply put it as keto diet is high fat, moderate protein and low carb diet. So, whenever we keep carbohydrate low, really low at that time insulin level decreases. So, when there is a decrease in insulin level, there will be increase in a counter regulatory hormone that is glucagon. So, note that insulin it is an anabolic hormone, it is trying to build things, it is trying to keep excess uh, calories, excess glucose, convert that into fat and keep that as a triacyl glycerol in the adipose tissue and also insulin try to maintain uh, glycogen stores in the body so, and insulin has got this all these anabolic effects. Whereas glucagon, glucagon is a catabolic hormone. What it does, it is going to break things. So, it is going to break glycogen into glucose. It is going to break adipose tissue triacyl glycerol which is the fat that is stored in the adipose tissue into free fatty acids and glycerol molecule. Fatty acid floods into the blood taken up by the peripheral tissues like skeletal muscle, uh, liver and all the organs and especially in the liver these fatty acids undergoes beta oxidation releasing acetyl CoA something called as acetyl CoA and these acetyl CoAs will get into ketone body formation and there are three ketone bodies which are made from excess acetyl CoAs in the liver that is beta hydroxybutyrate, acetoacetate and acetone. All these ketone bodies are secreted by the liver into the blood and these ketone body levels will rise and these ketone bodies are used by peripheral tissues like uh, especially the brain will switch its use of glucose which is uh, generally around 120 grams per day uh, glucose is used by the brain. Now it is switching itself to use ketone bodies predominantly or primarily and then skeletal muscles start using uh, ketone bodies, heart will start using ketone bodies. So majority of these tissues will start using ketone bodies and also fatty acids. So that means a uh, body has switched its um, energy needs going from carbohydrates which is glucose into ketone bodies and this is where adipose tissue breakdown will go on and as this pro process goes on and on so the mass of the adipose tissue it decreases 
and that's how, that's when it contributes to weight loss management and note that by keeping proteins moderate we are preserving the skeletal muscle proteins or the lean muscle mass that is there so that muscle uh, proteins are prevented uh, to certain extent uh, when we are keeping moderate proteins in the keto diet so the ketone bodies which are known to uh, protect against seizures like uh, drug resistant convulsions or seizures can be controlled or uh, treated uh, by uh, following a keto diet because uh, it kind of changes the neuronal metabolism kind of uh, increase GABA which is a uh, inhibitory neurotransmitter and try to keep gluco glutamate which is an excitatory neurotransmitter under control and also keto diet has been uh, shown uh, useful in controlling blood glucose level and triglycerides and cholesterol levels in the body and also it is shown to decrease insulin resistance in uh, type 2 diabetes mellitus keto diet has been uh, shown to be beneficial in uh, treatment of certain cancers so there are so many beneficial effects of uh, keto doing keto diet including uh, weight loss and uh, the beneficial effects of weight loss for our overall health and also note that when the person is on keto diet decrease in insulin decrease in uh, ghrelin will decrease the appetite that means person is not uh, doesn't uh, feel hungry all the time uh, so uh, glucagon is more so glucagon is a catabolic hormone try to uh, break the adipose tissue and uh, provide energy needs of our body so this is exactly what is the basis of uh, keto diet so that's about it for in this short video i will see you in my next video uh, probably i'll come up with some other related videos related with uh, keto diet until then you take care bye bye